Hello, everyone. Welcome to today's episode of Lucia Craft. I'm your host, Lucia, and today our guests are from Tsinghua University. I'll give time to them and let them to do the self-introduction. Hi, my name is Anais. I'm from Finland, and I'm currently studying computer science. My name is Evelina, and I'm a second-year bachelor student in law school. I'm from Sweden. Oh, I'm Zhao Zuqing, and a third-year student in Tsinghua, and I'm the master of the Tsinghua Coffee Club. Okay, you mentioned the coffee club, so you prepared the coffee for us today. It's called coffee from Ecuador, and uh, it was natural processed. Uh, you may smell like some jasmine and uh, uh, drink like uh, orange juice. Orange juice? Yeah. Mm. It's a little <laughs> sour. What do you think? It's like more of a fruit taste than what I expected. Because usually when I order a coffee in the coffee shop, they're usually like with a more sour taste. But this one is more of a fruit orange taste, which is very interesting. It's much balanced. Yeah, it's more balanced. Mm -hmm. You just finished the, uh, yeah. the brew competition. So, so Tim, please uh, share more details about today's competition. This competition is the third brewing competition and it is organized by the Tsinghua Students Co Coffee Culture Exchange Association uh, and over 50 students within and outside the Tsinghua University just uh, participate in the competition. We invited four international coffee judges to evaluate uh, students' performance and uh, they finally find that uh, uh, our students' performance far exceeded than, than their expectation. Mm -hmm. So the coffee bean, you use this one. Why you choose this one? Oh, because uh, it's sweet and uh, it's balanced of uh, bitter, sour and sweet. Mm -hmm. Do you think during the competition, um, they just uh, wildly showed the aroma, the flavor of the coffee bean that you expected? I think our students are masters of coffee. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. We have coffee plant, but we have a tea. Yeah. It's much more popular than coffee throughout the world. Yes. Yeah. Do you know how many classifications uh, the Chinese tea have? Like Bai Cha, yes. Lu Cha, Huang yes. Cha, Hong Cha. Hong Cha. Okay. I think they're in between uh, the other levels. I have oolong and oh, the oolong and black. Black tea. Oh yeah, black tea. My dad brought home, he bought some tea from China. It's very professional. It had, it had like yeah. the list of all the different types of tea and the amount of time that you brew each of them and how many times you can put it in the water for it. It was very professional because I feel like the normal tea, like if you just have English breakfast tea, tea it's, just, it's just a tea bag, <laughs> three minutes, you're done. But with, it, with the Chinese teas, it was very specific. It was like 80 degrees. 20 seconds and then 20. It was very specific. I was very surprised at how specific it was. This is the process also similar with the special coffee brew. Yeah. The, the temperature of water, the weight of the uh, coffee yeah, or tea and the time. I think uh, the biggest similarity between tea and coffee is they are both uh, agricultural products. Mm -hmm. uh, so I think it's a uh, uh, the high quality is uh, mostly dependent on the variety and uh, the natural environment. Uh, I think Yunnan is the best uh, region in China to make uh, best coffee and best tea. Mm -hmm. uh, when we focus on tea, this topic, I think my guess you all have a lot of words to say, right? I do love drinking tea and as my friends know, I have about six, seven different types of tea in my dorm right now. I will, you know, I, I do drink multiple cups of tea a day, you know. Like, like the Finnish people drink seven cups of coffee, I drink, I can drink seven cups of tea. Evelina, you took part in the event, mix the tea and the moon cake. Yeah, it was actually held by the Tea Society, I believe. And it was, uh, I think, a mid-autumn. Mm -hmm like during the mid-autumn festival. And uh, after when we gather around to make the moon cake, uh, the host just invite us to uh, make tea together. And uh, of course, they have to demonstrate it first to us like a true master. But um, I, like besides the 
fantastic flavor. I think like the process of making it is also a, like a pure oh, art. Yeah. It's like very delicate, and then they use these cute cups, and then like um, they have this uh, like po positions, and then the uh, also like the timing, the temperature, like they have to be perfect to make a perfect cup of tea. Before that, I only drink like black tea, like Earl Grey or like British breakfast tea. But after that, when they present how to make a good Chinese tea, I just you, like drink it in the morning, like with coffee or just like that. Uh, more and more people just uh, put the coffee elements or the tea elements in the zones. So do you think it's acceptable for you? Me personally, I approve of it because although the art of making tea, like making tea is an art, I do think that, you know, just promoting the flavor in itself and enjoying the flavor is perfectly fine. And I, I personally do like a lot of, you know, experimental foods, although I wouldn't mix tea and coffee together because I, I think that coffee would overwhelm the tea but i do think you know putting tea in zongzi would sounds really good to be honest i, I would definitely try that i think i will disagree <laughs> with you with that because i really enjoy like coffee and tea combination as a coffee and tea lover so i've also noticed like recently the market like for some of the coffee shops they kind of um publish like new products for instance like jasmine uh, flavor coffee like jasmine latte or like um, oolong latte also or and yeah or matcha yeah so I feel like these flavors are just um, not only a like a new product to the market but also like for people like me who enjoy both of this but uh, for the zongzi part I don't think like putting a coffee zongzi would make me more pleasant because it's like feel like um, sacrilegious I would say yeah Oh, I think the uh, combination of coffee and tea is very popular now and uh, our activities organized by our club. Uh, many students may try to blend the coffee and tea together and uh, oh, eventually they made some delicious drink. But when put this uh, coffee or tea elements into zongzi or tangyuan or mooncake yuebing, oh. do you accept? Mm, maybe... Personally, no. <laughs> uh, but person you can try. Uh, Personally, no, but uh, why not? Why not? Uh, it can be sold, but I wouldn't, uh, I wouldn't buy it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you can accept them appear in the market, but you yeah. will not uh, pay for them. Uh, yeah, I won't mm. pay for it. That's all for today. And my all my best wishes to you all. And thank you for your time. Thank so, you. Yeah, let's yeah. say bye-bye here. Bye-bye, see you next time.